Hi, my name is Emily Peterson, and I'm an undergraduate researcher in Michigan Technological University's Open Sustainability Technology Research Group, led under the direction of Dr. Joshua Pierce. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to operate a RepRap 3D printer that has been modified to function with the USB microscope. All interfaces are readily available and can be easily integrated into new or existing experimental setups. So the free and open source software community has demonstrated that by facilitating participation in technical projects with little to no startup costs, meaningful contributions can be made. Open source development has established a particularly vibrant 3D printing community, and this architecture has the potential to open the doors to other areas of open source technology. The overall methodology holds great promise for improving the accessibility of automated microscopy and stages are typically costly and have limited use due to their lack of adaptability. Not only has automated microscopy aided in improving the reproducibility of results in the greater research community, but it has allowed more individuals to learn proper operations and perform more complex analysis techniques. By taking advantage of existing tools such as Raspberry Pi, Arduino controllers, 3D printed parts, and beam structure, Advancements can be made toward creating a generic system of ultimately customizable automated microscopes. The 3D stage electronics in this particular setup shown behind me are comprised of a BeagleBone Black and a Melzi Arduino compatible board. The three stepper motors that create the movement of the 3D microscope are controlled by the Melzi, which is itself run by the BeagleBone Black. A computer is used to directly control the USB camera and this computer is also connected via the network to the BeagleBone Black. This 3D microscope movement is controlled by Franklin and runs on the Melzi and the BeagleBone. This is accessed through a web browser. First, we will make sure our microscope is plugged into a power source. Next, open Firefox to access the Franklin interface. In the top right are control buttons, and below that is a graph for temperature sensors. These are only used when Franklin is controlling the wrap wrap in the function of a 3D printer. For the microscope, this graph will remain empty. All setup, configuration, and calibration is also performed from this interface. Click the home button to center the USB microscope over the base. There are a number of ways to move the microscope. For quick movement, you can click and drag the point on the interface or use the arrow keys on your keyboard. This will move the scope in steps of 10 millimeters. By holding the shift key while using the arrow keys, the scope will instead take steps of one millimeter. You can also use the microscope by entering values in the white boxes to the right of the user interface. By entering a plus sign followed by a value, you will add that value to the current position of the scope in the direction of the axis of the box that the cursor is in. By entering a plus sign followed by the subtraction symbol before entering a numerical value, the scope will instead subtract that value. Finally, it is possible to move the scope by placing the cursor in the numerical value boxes and using the up and down arrow keys. In doing this, the scope will move in steps of one millimeter. By holding the shift key as well, the step size is reduced to one tenth of a millimeter. This setup is also capable of performing such function as photo stitching and stacking that will not be covered in this demonstration. While the machine is not as accurate or precise as many commercial alternatives, our testing has shown that it is indeed adequate for many scientific applications. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching.